Hey guys, this is group six, and we're gonna show you Boyle's Law using spray paint. A spray can uses Boyle's Law because the temperature is held constant and both the pressure and volume are changed in order to release the paint. A spray can is full of liquid paint and pressurized gas. When the nozzle is pressed down, it allows some of the pressurized gas to release, which decreases the pressure of the gas inside of the can. When the pressure of the gas decreases, it causes the volume of the gas to increase. This increase in gas volume propels the liquid paint out of the can and onto the surface you are spray painting. Another way to think about this is if the gas particles represented a spring and the paint represented marbles. If you shove a spring as compact as it can go into a container and then put a bunch of marbles on top of it and close the container, if you were to open that container suddenly, the spring would release and the marbles would be pushed out of the container because of the spring. Considering the Boyle's Law is P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2, the pressure and volume in the system are inversely proportional. When the aerosol in the can is released, according to Boyle's Law, the pressure in the can decreases and the volume of gas increases. That's all. So uh, next time you're out legally spray painting something, make sure that you think about Robert Boyle and his gas law.